dating is seeing somebody uh, but without um, any commitment you understand or any agreement whatsoever it's different from a relationship if you're in a relationship you would have agreed dating is when two people agree and then you know they do the things that they love to do like drink swap body fluids you know stuff like that do people still date nowadays i just think people like have a one night stands like i want you let's do it i don't believe in dating one person i say this because when it comes to relationships uh, you can either be in a situation where you're looking for something or you want to be free and spontaneous so when it comes to dating, I think keep your options open. Um, you have to date different people at the same time to find out what you want particularly. You can never find everything in one person. Women are, are switching the roles nowadays. Yeah. They, 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 they're going after the men. Dating, I've just seen a dating era period was there. This was like my 90s when we really had to meet someone for a fantasy and the movie, movie, movie. Nowadays, the Zimbabwe is my cinema. So, there's nothing really called dating because people are chatting on Facebook. So dating is, is gone. I think people date for different reasons. I think they date because, yeah, for some it's a business transaction. It's security. It's knowing that somebody's got your back. For others, it's simply because you are at that age and if you are alone, people look at you in some way. 20 years back, it was more love related but nowadays it's all money money because girls like things cell phones iphones and pizza and small little stupid shit like that you know so it's become a business transaction in the end and then they get they, they fall pregnant that's the shit thing they get pregnant and then the niggas like yo it's not mine or some other shit like that and then you got a lot of how they call it my m1s you know it's mother of one plenty all over the place like love doesn't pay for your bills love doesn't doesn't pay for your health and so yeah these days it's about it's about the money what do you have to offer me so that i can offer you something in return money is the root of all evil and i think if that becomes your driving force to happiness then then you're you're a very unfortunate human being well, women have got a lot of expectations now they aren't willing to find a man still on his path you know what i mean they want to find finished products respect your partner enough to give them time to actually see when is the right time to ask your partner for money maybe when you're more comfortable with each other then you can do that after you say i love you and they re they reciprocate then you can ask for money <laughs> i think if you're comfortable with someone it should be like listen i need 20 bucks you should chill as a lady, you know. Relax in Tombazana. Not two days so funny mal. Eh? Do I look like a world division? Depends, there's no time frame, mate. Eh? <laughs> if things are hard, things are hard. You know? Why should you ask your money? You should work for your own money. The normal thing nowadays is one has to take care of the disadvantaged one in the relationship. Whether it's moko, shine beg, chko no din se song net sa jufan rungo pindira. Day one, because my family also is getting better. They are going to like a double record. Like it's normal get over water and to come off fifty cents. They go because a double record. It's normal. But if we do it, we will come back and talk. My family just pizza. It doesn't make sense. So day one, if we do pay back. Long distance uh, relationships. Uh, I think maybe they could work for a certain age, for people who are of a certain age. But then for older folks, I don't think it works much. The human body has got certain needs, physical needs. You get me? Hmm. So if you're out there, if you're in Bulawayo, you're not far. I will, five hours for some good pussy, I will get there. You get what I mean? It's not a problem. But the moment you go to Australia, London, I'm sure there's some ninjas there also are tapping that ass. When you are in love with your soulmate, I think you can work it out. Uh, love has no boundaries. We didn't have the real email. We don't know that I am not in UK. I could like you just look this as a relationship. What about how many of you change that? I'm sure I'm seeing it. Relationship uh, is meant for people who are there together. I think long distance relationships make sense if they're short term.
because people change over time no 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 don't do it it's a scam it's a lie don't do it nope Sometimes you can date someone who's miles and miles away from you, but they are emotionally there, they are, they are involved with you all the way. Long distance relationships, like they need a, a play, me, she, poo, oh, dear Chelly, yo. No, long term, no. Like before, our fathers could go to Wenela, I used to call it Wenela, Wenera, you know, not the drama, but Wenera, just going to research. I've had maybe one or two long distance relationships and they've worked out uh, very well. I'm not going to be a child, I'm not going to be a child, I'm not going to be a child, I'm not going to be a child. Sometimes you have to be on Skype so that you can see the grrr part of them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just a waste of data, I think. They don't work. Like, I don't mind long distance, like you're in Gweru and I'm in Arare, you know, type thing. And then you're just like doing like a work thing for a week and then you come back. Not like forever or for like six months on end or like you're in England and I'm here. No, it doesn't work. Family and friends' opinions matter to a certain extent. You know, sometimes your family or your friends care about you and you might be dating someone that's not good for you. Anyone's opinion who's not part of the relationship should not matter whatsoever. You understand? Uh, a relationship is, should be between two people. And if the two people, they are, they are in agreement, no matter what the next person says, it doesn't matter. It should not matter. The Oganda Mure Ogo Juda Amuni Inzenza. Say na na. Safari na XQ. Kosa Ogaro Denwa na XQ. Aji guda Inzenza yo. Iti iti buba. Inzenza Inzenza. I guess at the end of the day, that's the person that you want to be with. And you never know how people think sometimes. So it can be out of hatred. It can be out of jealousy. It can be out of frustration. And the person could actually be very good for you. So you have to be very careful of the opinions that you're allowed to determine um, who you want to be with. It should matter because they're family. Friends, no, fuck them. You know what I mean? But family, yeah. I had a problem whereby my grandmother like, was saying, you can't date this person because she's from this culture, you know, she's from this tribe, you know. But they, what my family and friends say about my partner doesn't matter. I want to say no you know because it shouldn't matter but then eventually those things that they say will haunt you and will play in your head and you will see the things that they see opinion matters but you know let's say for example you're, you're out in the diaspora you meet you know a girl from nigeria and you're from zimbabwe or hell it doesn't matter what anybody thinks you can just do whatever but if you are in a rural setting yeah, I think it, it matters because that the extended family is very much part of your community.